Hi, this is Swan from Swan Amity Studios, and we're going to be taking a look real quickly at how I tie off an applique knot. Now, we are just finishing up putting uh, the last piece on this project, and you'll have to bear with me putting pieces on in the camera is a little tricky. But we're going to finish off our stitches and I'm using the invisible applique stitch which means I am going down right where I come out. So there's my thread coming out. I'm going to go directly down into the background fabric and come out in the applique piece just behind the fold so that you see none of my stitches on the surface of the piece. And I like to make sure that I'm going to have plenty of thread as I come up to the place where I'm going to tie a knot. Uh, so the knots that I tend to use are not knots that I would suggest you wait until the very last minute for. It's nice to still have some thread in the hand rather than just the itsy bitsy tail end of the thread that you're using. I'm going to bring that last stitch to the back of the piece so my needle isn't going to come out on the surface. I'm going to be at the back of the project. Here we are. There was our starting knot. I'm going to take a small stitch away from the edge of my piece towards the center of the piece. Just a small stitch. It's not a big stitch. We're not coming away from the edge too far. But it's more comfortable to put a knot right into the center or away from the edge. Not all the way to the middle, but away from the edge just a little bit. So that when you feel the applique from the surface, you don't really feel any kinds of bumps. Everything looks nice and smooth. So on the back side, we've taken our little stitch away from the edge. We're going to pick up a small bit of fabric. We're just picking up the background fabric, not the applique piece itself. So if you see the needle on the surface, you've picked up too much fabric, you just want just that little bit, tiny bite. See that tiny bite of the background fabric. We're going to pull that through, but not all the way through, because what we want to do is be able to stick our fingers between that little loop of thread. So we didn't pull our thread all the way through so that we could have this little loop. And now we've put our fingers, um, thumb and forefinger through the loop. With our thumb and forefinger we're going to grab the thread that's in the needle, pull it through, reducing the previous loop to the background fabric to the base. We now have a second loop. I'm going to take that loop and put my fingers back through the loop. Thumb and forefinger back through the loop. Now we're going to grab that thread one more time, pull through, reducing the loop again. This time, rather than put our fingers back through the loop, we're going to take the needle, go behind the loop, and come out to the side. See how that makes that nice and flat down on the surface there? We put our thumb over the top and pull the loop tight. Now we have that nice tiny knot right down there on the surface of the fabric. Nice and flat, nice and tight to the base. That's what we're looking for. So we made the loop. We put our fingers in the loop. We grab the thread in the needle, reduce the loop make a second loop in the process, put our fingers through the second loop, grab the thread again. With that final loop then you're going to be putting your needle through the back side and pulling it tight to the surface of the piece. You see I take one little stitch away from the knot that I tied and clip off. Everything is nice and stable. Everything from the top looks nice and flat and none of the stitches are showing. And that's how we make a little easy to tie off applique knot. The more often you make that one, the faster it will go. 
I find after about five or six times you make it quite quickly and very well. Visit us on swanamity.com, S-W-A-N-A-M-I-T-Y.com, and subscribe to the channel if you find our videos helpful. Thank you so much.